Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation from Romania. We have 2 to the power 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 2 to the power 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 43. And we're going to be looking for x values. So let's go ahead and start by breaking down the 3x minus 2 over x minus 1. And notice that there is a relationship, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, between the two exponents, there's actually a relationship, which is going to help us solve the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce the solution method. We're going to do a little bit of calculus here and there, like, you know, we're going to look at maybe derivatives, we're going to look at some limits, we're, we'll talk about asymptotes, and at the end I'm going to show you a graph which kind of brings it all together. So, let's go ahead and write the 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 as... 2x minus 1 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1. Notice that 2x plus x is 3x and negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Now why did I break it down that way? Because we do have a 2x minus 1 here and basically 3x minus 2 can be written as the sum of 2x minus 1 plus x minus 1 which happens to be the common denominator. So that's what's going to help us. Okay, now let's go ahead and break it down. We can go ahead and separate these two things into two fractions and write this as 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1. This is 1, so we can basically write this as 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 1. And that happens to be 3x minus 2 over x minus 1. Now one thing to be careful about here is x does not equal 1, so that's basically outside the domain, that's actually going to be our vertical asymptote. And we'll talk about that a little later. So now, this helps us a great deal because we can use substitution. So if I go ahead and call this something, how about u? Okay, then this is going to become u plus 1, right? So this gives us the following, 2 to the power this, which is u plus 1, equals 3 to the power, actually that's not equal sign, it's supposed to be plus, okay, let me rewrite the equation so I can go off of that, and that way you'll re remember that too. Okay, so my original problem was 2 to the power 3x minus 2 over x minus 1, plus, ugh, that's just OCD, okay, plus 3 to the power 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 and the sum is equal to and the sum is equal to 43. Okay. Now, based on what we uh, substitute here, this is going to be u plus 1 and this is going to be u. So we have the following: 2 to the power u plus 1 plus 3 to the power u equals 43. Now, there's a couple different ways to look at it. I'm going to isolate 2 to the power u plus 1 and write this as 43 minus 3 to the power u. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is 2 to the power u plus 1 is an increasing function. Why? Because it's exponential and it has a base that is greater than 1. And 3 to the power u is also increasing, but when you negate it and add 43 or subtract it from a constant, it, this is going to be a decreasing function. So we kind of have a function that is increasing and a decreasing, and they are equal, which means they intersect. But they can only intersect at a single point, because if you think about it, this is increasing, this is decreasing, they can only intersect at one point. So we're going to find that point, but then after finding that point, we're going to find the x value, so that's going to give us the solution. But then we're going to go a little deeper by using limits and so on and so forth. So... Here's how it goes. Let me go back to the original. 2 to the power u plus 1 plus 3 to the power u equals 43. Now notice that 3 to the power 3 is 27 and 3 to the power 4 is 81, right? So if u is greater than 4, then our expression on the left-hand side, which is 2 to the power u plus 1 plus 3 to the power u, is going to be greater than 81. Now why is that so? Because in this case, 2 to the power u plus 1 is positive. 3 to the power u is going to be greater than 81. So when you add a positive, it's going to be definitely greater than that. But we have four, 43 
Uh, on the right hand side, so we kind of have a weird inequality that says 43 is greater than 81, but that's definitely false. So this is impossible. Therefore, u cannot be greater than 4, which means u needs to be less than or equal to 4. So we're going to go ahead and test some values uh, to guess and check, but it's a kind of like a, you know, um, educated guess because we at least we have an upper bound for u. So we have the following values that we can test. But let's go ahead and rewrite the original equation one more time. 2 to the power u plus 1 plus 3 to the power u is equal to 43. So if u is equal to 3, this gives us 2 to the 4 plus 3 to the 3rd, which is 16 plus 27, which is equal to 43. Awesome. So u equals 3 works, and we do know that there is only one solution because intersecting intersection point is unique. Okay? So u equals 3, but what is u, right? u is 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. Remember that? When we did our substitution, we had two rational expressions, and we'll talk about them in a little bit. But anyways, u is equal to this, and that's equal to 3. From here, we can go ahead and find the value of x. Let's go ahead and find it, and we're going to do a little bit of calculus. 2x minus 1, if you cross multiply, 3x minus 3. Put the x's on the same side, x equals 2. So x equals 2 happens to be the solution of this equation. Let me rewrite the original problem. 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 43 and x equals 2 satisfies this equation. And you can always test it by substitution, right? Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the following. If we basically call our function f of x equals 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 3 to the power 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. We're going to be looking at some limits. For example, what happens to the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x minus 2 over x minus 1? This is a rational function, but our functions are exponential, where the exponent is a rational function. So our function is going to be rational in an interesting way. But anyways, this limit is 3, and it doesn't matter if it's positive infinity or negative infinity. This limit is always 3 because of the coefficients, right? What about the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x minus 1 over x minus 1? By the same token, this limit is 2. Now, why is that important? Because when you look at the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity, you're going to get 2 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 2 from the limits that we just evaluated. But this is 8 plus 9, which is 17. So as x approaches infinity, positive or negative, our function is going to approach 17, which is a horizontal line, and y equals 17 basically happens to be our horizontal asymptote. All right? And we already talked about the vertical asymptote, x equals 1, where we have a limit uh, at an infinite limit at a finite point like x equals 1, and that's going to be our vertical asymptote. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we're just going to wrap it up. Great. So this is our rational function. As you can see, it's like two pieces because there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals 17, this one right here. As x approaches infinity, y is going to approach 17 on either side. And x happens to be 2, which is identified by the intersection point 2, 17. Therefore, x equals 2 is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.